Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today, I'm going to be talking about Dead End. So, this was a first time watch for me. Uh, I only found out about this movie recently because, you know, it's uh, December, Christmas is right around the corner. So, just for fun for the channel, I've been trying to mainly review movies that revolve around Christmas or December in some way so you know this is uh, this is like a horror film that takes place on Christmas Eve it doesn't really have that much to do with Christmas it just takes place during Christmas time it's not like something like uh, Silent Night Deadly Night 2 where like it really has a lot to do with Christmas or something like Jack Frost or something but you know it's it takes place around Christmas time and you know that's enough for me to want to watch it right now for the channel and I watched the trailer and it, it seemed like a very solid horror horror movie so it really piqued my interest and I, I had to check it out and I'm very glad that I checked this out because I was a, I was a really big fan um, I, I, I just I really had a great time with this movie I, I thought it was absolutely awesome all the the horror stuff was just it, it was awesome. This this is like a well done movie, and it, it's like pretty low budget too. But I, I I I just like bottom line, it was entertaining and it was super creepy. Um, so yeah, big fan of this movie. Um, now I'm gonna get into a little plot summary before I get into the actual review. So, like I said, the movie takes place on Christmas Eve. It follows this family. Uh, they're driving overnight to go visit some relatives. Usually they take the highway, but uh, the dad decides to take this back road and then he falls asleep at the wheel and they get stuck on this back road and they're almost like stuck in this loop. They're like stuck in limbo where they're just driving and driving and driving forever and they, they can't get off this road. A bunch of creepy... Um, stuff starts happening that's hard to explain um, and not like hard to explain for the review but like the family like they they don't know what's going on like they're like freaking out they pick up this this woman and she's mute she is it seems like she's been through a traumatic experience she she just has like a like a eeriness about her you know so they pick up this woman and one by one members of the family start dying uh and the the family like will the like the a member of the family will disappear and they'll see them being taken away in this mysterious black car and then they'll they'll find like the aftermath they'll find like the mutilated body and then every time uh you know the family finds one of their family members killed this same woman is always there so that is the the uh, basic plot summary for you guys and now I'm just I'm gonna get into the actual review so something that I liked about this movie is that it was very subtle um, you know it's not an ultra gory movie it there's not like jump scares or anything it's it's more about like atmosphere and and it just has this creepy, eerie tone where, you know, like I said, all these unexplained things are happening and the family's freaking out and they're, they're, they're trying to find a town, they're trying to find the police, they're trying to find help, they're dealing with, you know, grief and like the loss of loved ones and it's just, they just like go into like hysteria, you know, so it, the movie, it, it's not like action packed there's not a, a whole lot going on, but it, it's one of those kind of like slower burn horror movies where it just has a creepy, eerie feel to it. And I really like that. I'm a big, um, big fan of horror movies like that. What it kind of reminded me of was uh, the first Blair Witch Project because in that movie, you know, all the characters, they're lost in the woods and they're kind of in this loop, in this limbo where they're walking and walking and walking and and they can't they they can't escape the woods like the woods are never ending that's how this movie is it's um 
you know, they're on this road and it just seems to go on forever and ever and ever and they're just going in circles. And it's also kind of like the Blair Witch Project in, in the fact that you don't really see a whole lot, you know. In, in the Blair Witch Project, you never see anything, but that movie is, is it's scary. It's creepy. This movie w actually was scary and creepy. It had that feel, you know, because like a lot of movies don't really scare me. I wasn't that scared with this, but it just it had a creepiness about it where I was just like unsettled watching it because, you know, you don't really see anything, but that's what makes it scary. Even the kills, you don't, for the most part, you don't really see um like the mutilated bodies you you mainly just see the family's reactions and it's kind of that like theater of the mind which uh this youtuber dave mccray he always says that that's where i got that term from shouts out dave mccray he's the man but you know you don't really see the aftermath of these these kills and these mutilated bodies so you kind of think up these all these scenarios even even the whole uh, black car thing like you don't know like who's driving the black car what what you know what is the the meaning like how is this like you know what what is the, like the symbolic meaning like is this like some demonic entity is this the the devil is this some killer like who who knows like so much of the movie is just like up in the air and up for interpretation until like later on and I really like that. You kind of have to like put the pieces of the puzzle together. So, and yeah, you're, you, you just kind of like come to your own conclusions, you know, like this movie is, I mean, it's just like a lower budget horror movie. It doesn't make you think it's not like profound, but it makes you think because everything isn't just like spoon fed to you or shown, which I, I was a big fan of. I thought that was really awesome. Um, something else that I really liked is you know, you like the, the family dynamic, they were this dysfunctional family and they're always fighting and there's all these like revelations, like once crazy stuff starts happening, they, they reveal all this, you know, stuff about like affairs and, you know, the one girl like reveal, reveals that she's pregnant, like all these crazy revelations come up, like the family was already fighting to begin with, but there's this like, you know, there's like this outside struggle with you know, the family being killed, but then there's like this internal struggle with, you know, this dysfunctional family just like bickering the whole time. And then they're like dealing with, you know, death and like processing death. And I thought the performances were good because, you know, like I said, it is like a lower budget horror movie. It's not, you know, it's not like some Oscar winning thing, but every family member kind of processes death in their own way. Like, um, the, the one girl, she's just like totally goes into shock and she's her like eyes are wide and she's silent. And then the mom, she just like, she's like binge eating like crazy and she just like snaps and she goes like full on Looney Tunes. And the dad, he's just, he's just hitting that bottle. He's just straight chugging that whiskey. Like I, I really liked how they, how they showed, you know, how, how this family is like really shaken up by all these deaths and they're just like, they're they're just like broken and it, it like really shows how like everyone kind of like processes like traumatic stuff in in different ways and they did like a really good job with that so i really like that and um the last the last thing i have here that i really liked is um you know in addition to this this movie being kind of like a slower burn and not needing to show everything um it, it was like really small scale, you know, there weren't a lot of big locations or like gory set pieces. It was, it mainly took place just on the same road or in the car, but you know, the performances were good. All the horror atmosphere was really creepy and entertaining. That did not hinder the movie at all. The fact that this movie only took place in a couple locations didn't matter because everything that was happening with the characters and happening with you know the like the the struggle of you know like this like hysteria like we can't we can't find a way out we're we're stuck we're going in a loop you know people are getting killed like they're just flipping out like there's the movie was so 
entertaining, like the content of the movie, that it didn't matter that, you know, there weren't these like grand, like grandiose sets or a bunch of locations. Like it was pretty much took place in like the same couple places and it didn't affect the movie at all. Like you, you wouldn't even notice. Like the movie was only made for 900K, which is like nothing, but it's, it, like who who cares like it was just such an entertaining movie it was it was low budget but I don't think the low budget hindered the movie at all like it was still just like it was a solid horror movie it was just it this movie like kept you on your toes like a lot of like a lot of times man I'm telling you like I want to straight up fall asleep during a movie like this movie I was tired I, I got up at like 6 a.m worked like an 11 hour shift and then I watched this movie and like I was, I only got like five hours sleep, so like I should have wanted to go to sleep during this movie, but this movie was like so entertaining that I I was just like glued to the screen, so uh, that says something. So that was the last little thing I wanted to touch on. Um, now I'm going to get into my little recommendation, and then I'm going to head on out. So, um, I mean, from what you've heard so far, I... I was clearly a big fan of this movie, so you know I would I would absolutely recommend this movie. Um, I I just I think it's a just a solid horror film. It's it's the bee's knees, it's the cat's pajamas. If you haven't if you haven't seen it, ch check it out. You know what are you doing? Go watch this movie. If you're looking for a movie, look no further. Watch a dead end. So that's uh my little recommendation and I've said everything I want to say about Dead End uh, so I'm gonna head out here thank you all very much for watching and peace out